opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The French defense prepares for d5, but blocks in the light squared bishop in exchange for a strong center and counter-attacking chances. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d4 and e5 squares. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the e4 pawn and controls the c4 square. e5 takes space in the center and controls the f6 and d6 squares. c5 takes space in the center, controls the d4 square and prepares to develop the knight behind the c pawn. It is the last book move. This develops a knight off its starting square getting it into the action. It is good. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This immobilizes the opponent's knight by pinning it to the king. It is excellent. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is best. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This evades the check from the knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This overlooks a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable knight. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.